This military report is brought to you by Coleman University. After 10 years of war in the desert, the drawdown of troops in Afghanistan begins next year. Well, for Marines, it means getting back to their amphibious roots. 10 News military reporter Bob Lawrence with how a certain skill is being revived. Sitting on a tank chassis that first saw life in the 1960s, this bizarre looking contraption is actually a portable bridge that'll get Marines across any obstacle in their way. Instead of bypassing and going around the rivers in a different location, we can get them across the river at the location they want to go across. It's an old technology, but with a new twist, a rafting system that can take it anywhere. In a way, it's being reintroduced by the 7th Engineering Support Battalion. They just haven't seen this capability in the last decade, kind of like, hey, we still have this capability in reintroducing it to them. This kind of bridging operation was used extensively in Iraq, and in fact, that's when we first met up with the 7th ESB in the Kuwaiti desert. Hello, San Diego, from Kuwait. March 2003, Camp Pendleton Marines were in the Kuwaiti desert waiting for a go or no go into Iraq. Literally, the tip of the spear. 10 News was the only San Diego television station on the ground with them. As combat engineers, the 7th ESB was the first to go forward to clear any obstacles that stood in the way of other troops moving forward. The amount of rivers and streams in Iraq near Baghdad, um, the improved river bridge and the rafting systems were used heavily. And though this bridging capability was used in Afghanistan, it was not to the extent it was used in Iraq. But with the drawdown from Afghanistan and a rebalance to the Pacific, there's a re-emphasis on this skill set. So this was a not-so-subtle reminder to other Marines of what's still in the toolkit. Bob Lawrence, 10 News. And it's not just for combat. These portable bridges can be set up in the event of natural disasters anywhere in the world.